Hi everyone, today we're going to be going through drawer number two. This drawer I'm very excited about because it is my favourite drawer. It is bronzes, blushes, creams and palettes. So we've got, this is going to be a long one guys, I'm not going to lie. Um, let's just get into it. I have two Charlotte Tilbury palettes. I have Glowgasm and I have Nudegasm. So... I, this is Glowgasm, so this is the one that I've wanted since it came out, and then it's limited edition, so when I saw it on Depop, when I tell you I have been checking Depop religiously for Glowgasm, I literally have, um, and then when I actually saw it, I had to buy it, so this is Glowgasm, um, I don't think it's my favourite formula, um, Charlotte Tilbury in general, because I have to, it's my favourite formula for panning, I would reckon it would take me like not very long to pan this because I literally have to like drag a brush in there to get any sort of pigment. So I don't think it's like worth the money. Uh, Kathy, if you hear, heard that, no you didn't. But um, yeah, I don't think it's like the best formula out there. You have to really dig in it to get um, any sort of pigment. But love this <laughs> i'm keeping that and then this is what nudegasm looks like it's more of a bronzy contoury sort of palette um sorry about the window it's pretty i wish it didn't say gasm in it i absolutely hate when brands are like weirdly sexual about things like not that i'm like a prude or whatever but like I don't want to be putting gasm all over my face, you know what I'm saying? So I'm keeping those. <laughs> and then, should we... Let's keep going on this side. So, I have my Moira Caught in the Sun bronzer. This is so nice. Um, It looks really bubbly. I mix them together and it creates like a... It's not like shimmery, which I love, but it's like a glowy bronze. So... Yeah, I, when I first bought from Moira, I just fell in love. I've wanted to purchase them from them for a while because all of their stuff is so beautiful, like the packaging. And I've been really impressed with the stuff that I've bought so far. So I'm going to keep that. Um, This is my, um, I think it's, yeah, I Heart Revolution Summer of Love bronzer. This is a glowy bronzer. Um, I don't really ever reach for it though, so I think I'm going to declutter this, um, purely because I have so many other bronzers now that I'm literally never going to reach for this. So, first declutter. And then we have, okay, so these are my two Kiko blushes. This one is so lovely. They're just so soft and like really nice so this is like my winter blush from them and this is called aspirational mauve from their unexpected paradise collection i don't know if you can get this they kind of like go through collections but release the same products and same colors but just with different packaging so this is a mauve really nice mauve mauve you know what i mean and then this is my like summer one from them and this is called Dream Coral and this one is shimmery, not shimmery, glowy. Yeah, see? Winter, summer. Love it. Keeping both of those. <laughs> I never reach for them but I want to so I'm going to keep them. And then I have two blushes from Becca. I believe I bought them from one from TK Maxx and one from Depop. Yeah, I can sort of tell which one's newer. Um, these are blushes from Becca that I really wanted to buy and never did. And then when they went out of business, I bought them. So this is Songbird, right? This is beautiful. This is... A really nice orangey peachy color I just really love songbird I'm so sorry the lighting isn't amazing and I don't know if these are like small or this is what the actual size of Becca 
uh, blushes were, but yeah. And then this is Hummingbird? Oh, Flower Child. Oh, hummingbird. I don't know where that came from. Really nice and pink. I'm so sorry if the lighting is not great. I love both of those. Okay, so we have... Ugh, I freaking love this, but I feel like it's time. Let me sniff it. Oh my lord. Oh, that is bad. Okay, that smells like actual Play-Doh crayon um, chemical as well. Not very nice. This is the um, baked milk bronzer. I'm, I may buy this in the smaller version someday, sometime, but yeah, I do like this. I really like the tone of it because it's not orange already. It is sort of just like tanned, which I like. Um, but yeah, definitely buy it in the smaller size because this you're never going to get through this. I, if people have said that they've gone through this, they're liars. Like before it expires, they're liars. <laughs> yeah, get the smaller version and in the blushes too because it's just crazy. Like look at that. Look at that! Ooh, don't look at that, that was weird. Declutter. And then back here we have five products that I'm not going to declutter. So, <laughs> this is Kiss and Tell. Lovely. I'm so sorry about the lighting. Um, Kiss and Tell, lovely, everyday blush colour. I always reach for this, love that. Then I have um, Let's Dance. Whoa. I feel like it's not picking up how bright pink this one is it looks more orange on my phone but it is bright it literally looks orange oh my god the lighting the lighting anyway keeping that and then i have flirt alert which is um pretty much the color it's showing up like a sort of grey toned mauve shade that literally looks like nothing on my skin. Great. I'm going to keep all of those. And then these two I adore. First of all, the packaging, amazing. Love this collection. This is Crossroads, which is my favourite Colourpop blush. It is an orangey sort of natural tone, I reckon. Um, it definitely on camera looks more bright orange but I think it's more of a like neutral orange and I love that I'd love to hit pan on that one day and then this is on the horizon this is a bright pink and they both got like glitters in them by the way yeah bright pink definitely more like deep pink than it's showing but I love those the packaging is kind of annoying that they're so big but also I freaking love the packaging so that's one side done okay so let's do the middle so um okay so let's start with my Fenty this is Fuego Flush um I'm keeping her purely for the pan this took me so long to hit pan on and I reckon if I carried on using this it would be finished in like a month because the brush I was using was so dense that it isn't just the middle like I wasn't focused on one area it's like the whole pan so yeah I'm keeping that it's definitely expired it doesn't smell too bad to be honest but I'm not going to use this it's purely because this is my baby my child if you will this is Cool Berry. This one got totally neglected because I was using Fuego Flush. Oh my god, it's so like... I really like this formula. Oh, that's so pretty. It's more definitely more purple off my phone. Off, like, IRL. Don't know why I said it like that. Um, it doesn't smell bad either. It maybe has like a hint of Play-Doh. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to keep that because that is pretty. I'm going to end up looking like I've had a blood test. 
Okay, so these ones I am not getting rid of because I love this collection. This is Warm Sun by Odin's Eye. This is the Soul Main 2. So pretty. You can see my guinea pig cage. <laughs> so pretty. Orange. Matte. Love her. So difficult to get them out though. <laughs> the packaging is beautiful, but my lord, is it annoying. Um, sunset clouds. Is this the shimmery? Oh no, this is the matte pink. Really beautiful. And then this is peach gleam. This is the shimmery one, which. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's literally just a mat with glitter on top. So I don't know really how it works. Like I need to test this out a bit more. But it really just feels like a matte powder with glitter sprayed on top. So I don't know. I'm keeping them though. Then these three are my Rimmel maxi blushes so i love these i really recommend these i think these are some of the best blushes you can get um and they're from the drugstore so sweet cheeks is a nice orange then we've got third base which is a light shimmery pink really pretty and then we've got exposed which is a deep mauvey well, not really deep actually, it's like a really light mauve. Um, this was the first blush I ever hit pan on and I freaking love it. Um, I worked on this on a project and yeah, super proud of this. Keeping all of those. Here we have a She Glam um, in uh, her honey. This is a mousse blush. This is a weird texture. It, It's creamy. It's like soft like cream. But it's not like squidgy. Oh, it is actually. No, it's not. It's crumbling. I'm decluttering this anyway. Um, I don't know how I feel about she glam. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna declutter this. I never reach for this. This is my like small compacts of ColourPop. Oh, I'm so sorry about my leggings. They messy. Okay. So I've got just my pluck, which is a purple, a greygy purple. I've got Catch My Vibe, which is a pink. I've got Desert Rose, which is, it's, it's like a coral really pinky toned coral with a bit of shimmer then we got chase i think it's called chase 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 i love this one this is like if i have a cream blush that is like orange toned i will put this on top of it it's so pretty and i love the packaging and then this is night bloom i think i'm just gonna declutter this one because i literally have never used it it is so cool though. I kind of want to keep it just because I have nothing like it. I think I'm going to keep this one and get rid of the other purple. Like this is like neon purple. I'm going to get rid of my other one which is in my creams. So I'll keep this one. And then these three are my favourite blush formula. They're the old Odin's Eye blushes. Um... I prefer them over to these ones, but I love this collection and like the packaging, but these ones are my favorite. So this one is Water Lily. This one is not my favorite, but I'm keeping it for the collection. Don't, I don't want to hear it. Um, beautiful. This one is Ripe Papaya. Oh my God, stunning, love it. I love the little fairy as well. It reminds me of my best friend and neighbor when we were younger, so. Love that. We would have died if we saw this when we were younger. Like, oh my god. And Sweet Peach. Which is actually... I feel like the other one is peach. And this one is like... Blueberry. 
you know? It's kind of purple and deep. It's not really peach at all. Interesting. And then over here we have mainly bronzers. So first of all, these are the two that I bought myself this year um, as a treat because I am great. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm sort of struggling at the minute. So I was like, Do you know what? Let's cheer yourself up. So this is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. Love her. I've been like trying to use this one. Oh, you can see me. <laughs> and then um, this is the Powder Bronzer in Indesun. I have hardly used this, but this is like the perfect bronzer if I want to be natural, which is never these two I'm going to get rid of decluttering them um I just don't like this formula I really yeah uh, I have befitting and breathtaking they're just not good like I don't know why people freaking love essence blushes I just they do have no pigment they just don't work for me so I'm decluttering these. I have so many blushes that I don't use that are so much better than those, so. Okay, I've been waiting for this video just to declutter this because I hate it. This is the Silky Matte Sunlight Bronzer by Mil Milani, yep. Yeah. The lighter shade, this is so bad. I have to scrub in here. To get like like nothing like nothing <sighs> like criminal I have to get use that much to get pat no I'm declaring that I literally hate that bronzer so much the amount of like pain it physically gives me to scrub my brush in that bronzer and put it on my cheeks just for it to show nothing is ridiculous I'm decluttering that I hate it uh, I don't know if you can tell but yeah so this is the Nabla um, bronzer in Ambra 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 Nabla Ambra so I have a sort of love-hate relationship with this bronzer at first I hated it because nothing was happening um, but now I love it it's like a really nice natural bronzer um, it's the bottom the bottom swatch there. My guinea pigs have to drink while I'm filming. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I really would like to hit pattern on this. It's very pretty. I don't know why I used it, like the first 20 times I used it, nothing showed up on my face. Now the name's gone. I've been scrubbing in there, but out of love this time because I love using this. So I'm glad I didn't declutter this when I was going to the first time. Okay, so then it's my Too Cool um, Art Class by Rodin. This is like a contour, um, a Korean brand's contour. What am I trying to say? Compact, I guess. Um, I have wanted this for a while and I bought it off Style Vanna. Um, I really like it. I'm not into contour as much now I'm trying to use this as contour and then going in with bronzer over the top but I really like this as a bronze I think it's really nice wait nothing okay I think it's really nice and natural looking um it's like neutral toned and I do mix them all together this actually I remember there being two shades so this is the classic um can you see that? Is it going to focus? So this is classic. I remember there being multiple shades. I think there's two versions. This is the classic. It's like neutral. Um, I have a feeling the other one was more like orangey, ready toned. This is like a neutral. So I recommend the classic. But yeah, I really like that. Oh, okay. This one is my Becca Barley Sands. Um, this is old. I'm probably going to declutter this. I do like this bronzer. I think it is really pretty, but um, I just feel like it's old now. Like it, 
it feels like compacted because it's old. Does that make sense? Like it's very soft. It smells a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. And that's very strange for a powder to smell, but I just feel like it's old and it's, it's its time and I love it, but I have to let it go. These are the L'Oreal ones. So first of all, L'Oreal Paris Blush of Paradise. This is Life's a Peach. Uh, love this. This is like my go-to if I want a peachy cheek. I love this. This is amazing. It took me way too long to try this again. But it's one of those products that I never bought when I was younger because it was like money. I didn't have money. Um, but then when I started getting more money, um, I was like, do you know what? I never tried that. So I'm going to buy it and I'm going to try it. And then I loved it. Exactly the same thing happened with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. That's my favourite mascara and I never bought it despite wanting it for literal years so she's staying and then also I bought that after I bought the bronzer version which is in um, 01 Tantation this bronzer is amazing this is like if I could recommend any bronzer for you it would be this one it is cheap it is like the perfect mix of contour and bronzer it it smells nice. I just definitely put this all over my nose, but it's so lovely. It's soft. It's so easy to blend and put on your face and it's beautiful. I love the tone. I really recommend this. Those two are staying. And then behind the L'Oreal, we have the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in Bahia. So this one I feel like is a lot deeper or like Definitely more ready toned, I think, um, and a lot more pigmented. I'm going to keep this, actually. I kind of really like it. I've been a bit scared of using it. I love the packaging. It is definitely, um, what is it, the Tarte Park Avenue or Prince Princess Avenue or something. It reminds me of that, but it feels so nice. I like this. I want to try that more. Then we have my Butter Bronzer. This is um, in Light Bronzer. This is one of those ones again. Oh, it still has the brush in it. This is one of those ones again that I haven't tried, but I wanted to. This is really light. But I do love this bronzer. This is one of my favourites. Um, this is a go-to on like uh, natural days when I actually do want to look presentable for other people. <laughs> um... And it smells really nice. I really like this. Um, I got this for like four pounds of Depop because someone bought the wrong shade. And I was like, I will have that. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I definitely like the light shade as well because I think it does look really nice. Oh, you can't even see it. It's that one. Where the bomb? Love that. And then I bought the highlighter and this bronzer at the same time because they were on sale on Superdrug. Um, this is really nice too. This really reminds me of the Nabla one. This one. Um, this is the Revlon Skin Lights in Rayon. Is that like sunkissed beam in a different language? I don't know. This is what it says. <laughs> Sunkissed Beam 115. This is really nice. Yeah, it has the same texture and sort of formula as the Nabla one. So this is really nice. Very natural again. Um, yeah, I recommend this totally. If you like the Nabla one, you should totally try this. I don't know if it's still sold though because it was on sale at Superdrug for like both of them were like four pounds together um this and the highlighter that I bought this one so I don't know if they were like just getting rid of old stock or they were discontinued but skin lights I really like this collection and then at the back we have my essence hello good stuff this is a matte and glow but I don't really see the glow much. Oh, this smells. I don't like the smell of this. It's not like a off, like expired smell, 
but it's a specific smell. So this one, it's nice. I like it actually. I was going to get rid of it, but then I actually quite like the tone of it. I'm going to keep this. I think this would be nice to get some usage out of. Now that I have some space. Ooh. I can put my Fenty ones in. Nice. Okay, right, let's go through creams. So this is my tub of creams. We're going to get through declutter some of them. So because they're creams and I don't use them. This is a powder. <laughs> this is Lottie London Blush Crush. I think this is in Drake. Yep, yeah, Drake. I like this. Um, I'm going to declutter it because I feel like I probably have a pink blush. I'm going to declutter this. It doesn't fit, so, you know. Um, I'm also going to declutter my Soul Body Bronzer. Look at this. Look at the, the hairs in that boy. <laughs> oh, I do not like the smell of this anyway. Um, before it expired. I don't know if it has expired, but I'm not keen on cream bronzer anyway. And I really do want to work on my Fenty. So I'm going to declutter this as well as my milk bronzer. These two are quite good. This one is definitely a neutral tan sort of shade. And this one is like orange tan, if that makes sense. Um, this is my favourite uh, blush. This is the Beauty Bay Mad Hatter face thingy. It smells a bit funky, but I'm going to keep it because I freaking love this. Um, this goes on like a cream, like blends like a cream really nicely on the face, um, even over powder. And it sort of like settles like a powder, so it's uh, long lasting. I freaking love this. I'm keeping that. And then my Colourpops. I am going to declutter Georgette because I just never use her, frankly. Um, she's amazing. She's like a bright pinky coral. Um, but I don't use her, so I think it would be a shame. To keep her and then this is prenup and count me in these are my favorite formulas i love these blushes that's count me in uh, a pinky coral and then this is prenup which is <laughs> a purple it's got a fluff in it a purpley pink and I love that formula so much. Again, it's one that can go over powder, like the Mad Hatter one. Um, love it. Love those. I'm going to declutter this Body Blur, like bronzer. I again got this in a giveaway, but I'm not going to use it. So, yeah, I was going to keep it to try it as a bronzer, but it's for the body. And I'm not going to use it. So, I'm going to declutter, sadly. Okay, so this is the purple one I was talking about earlier that I'm going to declutter. I love the packaging and everything. It is just incredible. I might see if my sister wants this purely because it's beautiful. Um, or my niece. But yeah, this is lovely. This is in Pansy Pop. Um, I haven't really used it much, so I'm not really sure about the formula. This one is in Fig Pop. It's like a sample that I got, but I don't know if it's like legit. But just from this one, the formula isn't my favorite. Oh, oh, I'm keeping this. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. That color is so pretty. And really, I haven't given it a fair shot because I haven't used it. So I'm going to keep that. This is my XX Revolution Mousse Blush in Soft Focus. I'm going to declutter this because... It's probably expired, but I really liked this, and I think Soft Focus was so pretty. And I love the packaging, look at that. It's beautiful, but it's her time. I'm also going to declutter these two because I wasn't keen on this formula. This is the Revolution Super Dewy um, Liquid Blushes. This was in Flushing For You. 
and this one is you got me blushing um i'm just not keen on this formula it's too much hassle i i can't really get it down and i feel like it's going to take me forever to use them up so i'm going to declutter them i also hated the um bb cream that was in that collection too this formula i really like as well i love um just like taking my brush and like on top of it and then applying it instead of just applying this straight to the cheeks so this is the blush sticks by colourpop by the way and this is in 25.8 it's like a mauve tone i have like with blushes like the formulas i like i usually have a mauve and a peachy tone and then although saying that this is in Splash. This is like a pinky tone. And I have Cool It, which is a mauve Oh, which one's deeper? This one's more pinky. This one's more purpley. Um, they're very similar. Am I going to keep them both? Absolutely. I have a feeling these aren't going to last long, though, because they are looking a bit dry, but... I do love these. Vannies are clean. Oh my god, there's so little in here. Oh, I got this for Christmas. Um, this is a secondhand tart palette. I got it because I really wanted to try this formula like since I was younger um, but I just feel like they're old now so I am going to declutter this but I really this like holds a big like there's a big gap in my heart when I declutter this let me tell you like should I declutter it I'm literally never going to use it I might see if my sister wants it. Okay. I got this for Christmas. This is the Benefit Foroscope uh, Earth Angel palette. Basically, I had never tried any um, Benefit because, again, I didn't have a lot of money when I was growing up. I still don't, let's be real. But, um, yeah, these are all the shades and Honeymoon because I didn't, I didn't know of Honeymoon before this palette. But these three I've always wanted to try which is Georgia, Hula and Cookie. And oh my God, I freaking love this palette so much. This means so much to me. Um, it just reminds me of when I was younger and wanted to be a beauty guru and <laughs> yeah. So, and I think this is beautiful. Like I actually adore this packaging. I think it's stunning. Um, yeah, I love this so much. And then we have the BH Cosmetics, BH Cosmetics Vanilla Cream Truffle Blush Palette. This is so pigmented. Um, it smells like Smarties. <laughs> yeah, if you want a really pigmented blush. And these are quite small pans, so it would be great for a panner. But yeah, I would recommend this. Um, I'm going to declutter it purely because I'm not going to reach for it because I have so many single blushes but this is a really nice palette and they have a lots of different shades and tones so I would definitely look at these I don't think they're expensive either um if you're after and it's quite small so you could probably travel with this this would be quite good to travel with but yeah I think it's worth it if you don't have lots and lots of blushes And then we have my BH Cosmetics Belgian Waffle Palette. This holds a special place in my heart as well because I hit pan in this. I love this. I'm going to keep this. Um, yeah, this like got me into makeup again um, in 2020. So yeah, I love this. I'm keeping this. However, the Bellini Peach Blush Palette from the same collection... I'm going to declutter. It's beautiful, but these tones aren't really tones I reach for. I mainly meet, reach for light peaches, um, like orangey tones or mauvey tones. And this is like pink. 
and they all kind of look very similar to me um they're like bright pink and then just a light pink so i'm gonna declutter this but i think it's really beautiful like i kind of want to keep it for like collecting purposes but i'm gonna be good <laughs> go oh my god look at it look at my drawer it looks so clean <gasps> we did it guys we decluttered so much should i count them we decluttered 17 blush or blah 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 <laughs> we decluttered 17 blush or bronzers and including three palettes which is amazing i also have some more palettes in my eyeshadow drawer but that is for another day because i don't think i can cope going through that today <laughs> but i'm so happy with this um i don't know if i mentioned it at the start of the videos but the reason why i wanted to declutter was so that i could put things onto a google form so i can like track my usage of everything and this just looks so much more manageable um and yeah i'm like excited to put some of these products in some projects and get some usage so yeah, thank you guys so much for helping me and keeping me company and I hope that this can inspire you if you're feeling a bit in a rut with makeup like I am. I'm really happy with this. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video where we tackle. Oh, another day. Just for another day. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>